Surgery for Practical Combat. Let's review the last gimmick for DKO. And in my opinion, he's a complete fraud. He does have his skills, but he doesn't know how to use the skill. And it's evident by the lack of sparring videos and the lack of fighting. Take in consideration DKO is a uh, young guy still can fight why he hasn't tested himself in a kickboxing boxing since he teach boxing why he doesn't go and try boxing in an amateur fight why he doesn't go and try kickboxing or mutai or taekwondo he claims to be master several system why he doesn't go and test them out the, um, you know himself so let's review the the, the last video for dk joe so you guys can see the way i see things and um you most likely Agree with me, but just in case, I want you to see. Let's watch again the video in a slow motion and let's talk about reality really quick and have a reality check. First of all, he's using a side stance. That's, <clears throat> that's good if you're really good at kicking, but you can only do it or overdo it for such a long time. Um, his hands are completely down and he wants to explain broken rhythm but apparently he doesn't really know what broken rhythm is so here you see him his front hand is completely low the shin is not tucked it's open he's slapping the opponent's hand kind of like a feint so he wants to go forward he's doing this insecure jump that anybody that knows how to kick is going to kick the rear leg when he kicks he drops his hand even further than the way it is He's expecting the opponent to react as a dummy. And let's see, let's see what happens when a fighter um, fights or moves with the hands down. What he's teaching is completely incorrect. Broken reel doesn't refer to that. So now he goes and does a uh, back fist to the face that is actually not gonna knock out anybody. And he stayed there giving your back to the opponent. Somebody with real uh, grappling can put in a rear neck choke and take him down or sweeping, he's gonna go down. Time over, he does that very well, but in the second round. And trust me, he's not Conor McGregor. He doesn't have the skill sets, he doesn't have the fighting spirit, he doesn't have the record, he doesn't have the shit. So, why would he teach somebody who wants to learn to fight? Uh, incorrect basics like having your shin open like that the hands down obviously this guy it's a fraud and I'm telling you straight up DKO Yo, you are a fraud and I wouldn't allow another man to call me a fraud especially since you come to USA uh, again this is not a challenge but I'm telling you you should reevaluate what you're teaching and you should teach a stuff that could help people and not put it in, in harm let's, let's watch again what happens to people when they fight with the hands down like you do and the shin uh, completely exposed. Does that very well, but in the second I know, I know. Round. Many of you are going to complain about the video, many of you are going to try to justify it, but reality is, this is the way I see it, and reality is you go to any boxing coach, you go to any real martial artist, and he's going to tell you that's incorrect. Majority of people that follow DKO is just for the Asian uh, looks and heritage and the nostalgia from Bruce Lee that he kind of resembles Bruce Lee, but we know it, you, deep down you know it, he doesn't know what the hell he's doing, and, and, and if it's correct, then why, when you join a martial arts school, they don't teach you those bad habits, nobody teaches you to fight with the hands down, nobody teaches you to fight with the shin exposed, nobody teaches you to kick and give, and give your back to your opponent, so those are bad habits that he's teaching, that's why I think he's a fraud, uh, if not, what are his videos fighting, that's all I have to say, now on the other hand if you like the video please subscribe subscribe like share share the video on patreon or share it to your friends and let me know what you think